Hi Stampers, it's Carol Ann Patterson coming to you from Fabric Paper Scissors. I wanted to show you a, an easy way, an economical way that I keep my, my framelits for my Big Shot in order. I, initially, I would put them in these little slider cases. You can see it works nice, slips right in, and I'll show you the, the larger case afterwards. What I use is this magnetic vent cover. It comes in a sheet, 8 by 15, and then I use my guillotine paper cutter to cut it up. What I do is I cut up six and a quarter by six and a quarter pieces and five by six and a quarter. What I have, it comes with three pieces and I think it's four dollars so I cut the six and a quarter pieces I have four of them I cut the five by six and a quarter and I have three of them plus I have what I've taped together still works perfectly fine so I have two of those and I have another five so I end up with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them for four dollars. I'd say that's pretty economical. And how I put it together is we're going to do love notes. So I'm going to open the package. Here's my love notes. I'll show you how it works on my misfit one that I put together. So I'm going to take them off the board. This is a sturdy magnetic sheet. They're all going to stick to this. These are on quite well. Putting together a puzzle. There's a lot of pieces in this one. See how wonderful they fit? Well, it's the same size, so they should all fit perfectly. Sometimes if they don't, I'll put two sheets in. So, here it is. Most of them don't fall off. They're all on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in this case. I'm going to write on here the number of dies that are in this set. I'm not going to count them now, so I'm going to put this behind. I'm going to slide it in this way. Put the little arrow back. Close it up. It's ready to go. Here are my large ones that I keep in this. Some of them are retired. These are the newer ones. So here's my layering squares. All inside here. If there's any extra, I would put them on here. And I put the number 19 pieces in this so I know when it's going back. This is how neat and tidy it is in here. So I keep those in a box and I keep them buried underneath. The same with my smaller ones. This one has 10 pieces. I use washi tape to mark them, uh, whichever catalog they come in, but they're all perfect in here. And these are just wonderful to use. The little ones fall off from time to time, but hey, they do on the ones that you have to buy as well. So I'm really happy with this. Again, I'm using the vent covers, and three come in a pack, and it's about $4, and you find it at your hardware store. See you again soon.